Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards. And today I'm gonna to blow some raspberries at you while I'm making one of these, a raspberry margarita. But is it any good? Let's find it. All right, it's great to have every one of you back. Today we're starting a brand new series as voted on by you, the viewer. That's right, Margarita Mondays. Now one of the things I would like to do is have every one of you go down into the comments down below and let me know, do you want the Margarita Mondays every Monday or every other Monday? Because I don't want you to get bored. Simply enough, what we're going to do is do a margarita on Mondays. And I've got at least 50 to 60 recipes to work with, maybe a few more. This is gonna be an interesting trip. Today's recipe, of course, is the raspberry margarita. And to get this started, we need your shaking glass. We also need, of course, five, six, or seven raspberries, depending on the size of the raspberries you have. In this case, mine are pretty large, so I'm gonna use five of them. Second thing you need is your tequila of choice. Today I'm using a Patron Silver Tequila. You don't have to use a silver or white tequila. You could use a Reposado or a Danejo, depending on the flavors you want. And we need an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. The next thing that you're going to need is an orange liqueur. Use the orange liqueur of your choice. The standard, of course, for most margaritas is triple sec and we need one ounce of this or 30 mils. Um, your choice, of course, maybe try Grand Marier, maybe Cointreau, or maybe find something that's really, really nice at the liquor store. Next thing we need is a raspberry liqueur. All I could get at the liquor store and all I've had for a while is a sourpuss raspberry liqueur. Find something nice, it's going to change your flavor. We need, apparently um, triple sec on me. I need half an ounce or 30 milliliters, and this will give us that red color that we're looking for. And what we're going to also do is we're going to muddle this. However, I'm not doing that just yet, because first, I wanna kill a lime, at least once. And you're gonna take it, and you're gonna slam everything down. We need one ounce, no, we need half an ounce of lime juice. A lot of margarita recipes are a one-to-one -one mixture, although this is slightly different. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna keep this for later because we're gonna use this for the garnish in the glass. Now, one of the things that you can do to help give you a little bit more sweetness, and this is optional depending on your personal flavor, of course, is a little bit of agave syrup. And I would recommend a bar spoon, which is maybe five mils. And this will just help balance it out a little. And we're gonna do the one thing I forgot to do at the beginning. We'll give this a bit of a muddle. You don't necessarily have to muddle this because we are going to shake this. And when we shake this, of course, it'll be uh, incorporated a lot more. Grab some ice. Knock stuff over. What can I say? And miss my dent. Oh. Anyways, I'm too far in to restart now. And you wanna shake that for a good 10 to 15 seconds. I don't need this anymore because it's making a mess. Choose your glass of choice. I'm using a nice sort of fancy rocks glass. And before I get too excited because knocking everything over threw my brain out of whack, you wanna rim the glass with a little bit of salt. Now, a lot, you can rim the entire glass, but if you're handing this to a person that doesn't necessarily like a mouthful of salt with their margarita, take your nice fleshy uh, wet part of your lime, give yourself sort of a nice kind of half moon shape here. Take your bowl of salt, give it a bit of a around, and you've got this nice half moon salted look, including a fancy line here that just didn't seem to work. 
Now you're gonna add some ice. Looking pretty. We're going to fine stream this. If you want the seeds from the raspberries in, you can. On my margaritas, I like them a little smoother, a little bit less chunky. And if you're with your other half, you maybe don't want raspberry seeds in your teeth. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And you know what? I think I can use one more piece of ice in there just to sort of fill it up, make it look nice. Now, you don't have to garnish this if you don't want to, but I'm going to because, you know, I want it to look pretty and I got these nice little skull looking uh, cocktail pins. Take two or three or four raspberries, jam them in here like so, make them look nice. Again, your preference. Maybe every other one you could use a, a black raspberry, a black raspberry, a blackberry. And you know what? I'll put four on here. Look at this. Absolutely perfect. Look at that. Can't go wrong with that, can you? And if you say you can, oh well. However, let's give it a smell and try it out and see how it tastes. So it smells really good. You get a little bit of raspberry smell, not to mention, you know, you could eat one of these too. And let me get a mouthful of salt with this. Oh, that's good. Mm. You get the salt and you get the tequila coming through, a little bit of raspberry, a little bit of those orange flavors. Oh, mm. very nice. And if you don't like salt, the other side works great. Um, I prefer both of both. Well, mm. You know what? If you like a great margarita, hit the thumbs up button. And if this is the first time you're my channel, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way, every time we put up a new video, you will be notified. And you know what? We'll see you next time. Make sure you leave a comment down in the comments down below on whether you want your margaritas every Monday or every other Monday. I moved, you want to reset focus? Percent <laughs> <laughs> in favor of having margarita manga. However, today's margarita. Today's margarita. <laughs>